Hi, Blind Guy Garage. I'm Brad. Um, the Blind Guy. Um, this machine here, 90s ish. Don't know. Uh, Honda Four Tracks. 300 four by four. Cha -cha. Anyway, came in, won't start, won't crank, won't do nothing. Uh, we're looking at it, going through schematics and stuff. I, of course, was not going through the schematics. I know how to read them. But um, I know how to understand the electrodigitals, but I got to know what colors are what and what their jobs are. So anyway, uh, this harness that I bought from the Amazon is freaking awesome like it was really really i was so pleasantly surprised exactly like factory colors everything everything on the schematic matched up with this harness it's insane it even was put together as if it was wrapped around tubes and stuff so like maybe they have a jig that has this section of the frame on it but i mean it let me know that I was putting it in the wrong configuration on the machine because it didn't fit right until I put it where it wanted to be. Like, it's pretty good. So anyway, once that was done, uh, one thing you got to watch out for is up here at your CDI box and this other box that I'm not 100% sure on. Uh, then too plugs will plug into each other on each side so like you can plug this one into that thing and this one into that thing um i did it the blind guy couldn't tell what colors the wires were i didn't have a seeing eye person to help me so anyhow we got that got that all oriented put it over here to the battery and then realized that hey some more wires were cut y'all Cut, 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 all kinds of stuff. So, we had to go back, and I say we because a friend of mine helping me, uh, too. We had to go back, do the, you know, schematical thing, and got it figured out. So then, those problems are all solved because we're getting no fire at the coal, no, no power to the CDI box, no signal to the CDI box. Nothing. So, freaking screw it. Just get a harness. Well, good thing we did because there was tons of cut wires, bent wire, you know, uh, bare wires and things like that. We'll have to tidy this up. Make it a little more, you know, hidden. So, things don't do some stuff to it out on the trail. Um, but, uh. You know, everything is trying to work like it. The, the solenoid is working. And somebody's calling me while I'm doing a video. Oh, and solicitation. Um, so anyhow, got that all done. Then realized our neutral safety was all screwed up. Fix that. Um... Which I didn't catch it. The guy, you know, my friend that was working, he caught it. I did know about it. I kind of pointed him in that direction. But he found more problems than I knew was there. Um, then we got it all together. And then all of a sudden, we have power to crank. If we jump the solenoid, because the solenoid ain't working. We had power to crank. But... Uh, Still got no fire at the coal, no spark, no nothing. You see, that's the solenoid. That's all she does. So you still have to jump it. So we knew that was working, but we're not getting anything forward. Well, a Honda is a, uh, a constant ground coil, which is over here. It's a constant ground coil with the positive wire being your signal wire to fire the coil. Where did it call that? Where is it? Where is it? It's way up here. See? So, we were getting 
less than a volt up here at ground on this coil. And uh, so I said, we need extra ground. So maybe we can see if that's the problem. So uh, we took the jump box I was using, actually uh -huh. hooked it to the power side of the battery, then hooked the ground of the battery or the jump box to the, and while I'm talking to you, I'm putting the covers back on and uh, hooked the ground to the frame and uh, got, then we were getting 14 volts on the ground up here like we're supposed to. Eh, I'll fix it later when I can use both hands. But, um, so that being said, now we have, this thing is doing what it's supposed to do. Then we, we still wasn't getting spark. So then I'm like, well, screw it. Let's look at the schematicals and see what's going on. And then my friend got up here and he looked and he said, hold on a minute, sir. You plugged them in backwards. I said, I didn't even think you could do such a thing because why would they make two plugs that big with that many pin locations? Exactly the same, but they probably don't anymore. Anyhow, got her did. Um, switch those out. Uh, realized that, you know, that little test I did too showed that we had the voltages that we needed. So we took him cleaned the terminals up on the battery that was all we needed to get battery voltage up here to the ground on that which i think this machine is going to need a little bit of extra ground i think we're going to have to pull another ground over to the from the battery to the frame and then from the frame to the engine uh just just for just for peace of mind and and all because these machines are getting old and they're getting rusty between all the bolts and stuff so anyhow, finally tried it. This sucker runs. Um, he, the starter circuit works. Everything's working. And squeezing the brakes to, because I, you know, I've had them try to run up over everything. I'm trying to start them, and uh, we hear a, and then the handle goes straight to the. The handle goes all the way back to the handlebar. So I'm gonna, uh, it broke. So we'll pop the brake. Uh, and it possibly push the wheel cylinder apart and we can throw it back together. I don't know. But I don't know if we're gonna go that far with this machine or if we're just gonna get it back. Get it done and get it back to running so that it can be rode. And maybe worry about brakes later because, you know, brakes are a luxury, not a necessity. Um, if y'all want to see more videos on this type of machine or these machines, comment below. Talk to me, people. Uh, we'll put more stuff on there. I've got plenty of ATVs and crap that I've got to work on. So, you see out there, there's tons of stuff. I don't know if you can see it. There's Polaris and Yamaha and Kawasaki and then we got John Deere Guider and even John Deere Gator to pedal with. That's going to be a fun one because nobody can figure out why it's doing what it's doing. And then a Yerf Dog. I don't know what that is. I don't Chinese. Chinese GY6 platform. But anyhow, that's where we're at, fellas. Uh, that's the Honda Four Tracks Frankenstein here. We're gonna probably do a, this kind of a revival, I guess you'd say. But uh, I didn't do a whole bunch of recording on all the work we were doing. Because uh, it required more thinking um, than I'm used to. So a lot of this stuff's gotten so easy for me. I don't... I can think out loud, talk to you fellas while, while I'm recording and everybody's happy. And 
all that but this one was not one that i could do that with um not to mention i've got so much going on as far as work goes and working on machines and things that i am not able to dedicate a lot of time to the youtubers i want to and i want to do some more square body videos but you know whatever can't gotta gotta pay the bills y'all gotta pay the bills so if you know fellers that if you know any fellers that or or ladies that are dealing with vision issues show them my channel shoot my channel over to them say hey this is a guy who's got 30 percent vision and he's out there working every day hard at it uh praising god the whole time so god gave me the talent to be able to do this stuff uh gave me the patience the only patience mm -hmm. i have is given to me by god i can tell you that much but um gave me the patience to get it done so we should i, I mean i, I want to help people if i can i inspire them if it's possible so like always sorry i'm sweating it's hot um like always like share subscribe do all that stuff and stay blessed